Welcome to Digital Market News for Monday, March 19th. I'm your host, Jay Ostrom. In today's news, Walmart has a new plan to move products. Apple announces a stock buyback, and we review the most promising startups of the year's South by Southwest conference. And Walmart is rolling out a new retail development kit that will help market the brands they carry. The big box store will offer these brands marketing opportunities through co-op TV commercials, online ads, and exposure through Walmart's social media network. With this program, Walmart is creating a new rollout for itself as a advertising medium for its brands. Although stores such as Target, Kmart, and Kohl's also have programs to promote brands they sell, Walmart has been proactive, the most proactive, in positioning itself as a media outlet. It will be interesting to see how Walmart markets the brands that want to use the retail development kit, especially through social media. The store's Facebook page is dominated by its My Local Walmart feature, and they may have to revise the format uh, to market specific brands. Apple announced that they will be executing a stock buyback plan. They'll be spending $10 billion to buy back company stock and begin to issue a quarterly dividend in the hopes of raising the value of the remaining investor shares. This is the first time in a number of years that Apple is concentrating its spending on investors rather than research and development. It might be that the company has decided that their $100 billion cash reserve is a comfortable amount to start reinvesting while working on new products. This certainly marks a change under new CEO Tim Cook as Steve Jobs was notorious for declining dividend releases. We are excited to see what other changes Cook has planned for the company. Many startups use South by Southwest, an annual tech and entertainment conference, to generate buzz around the industry. Out of the many that were present this year, a few showed potential. Number one, Highlight, as it's called, is a location-based app that links to Facebook to let you see people around you who may have similar interests. Number two, TaskRabbit, which lets you find people to hire to do your odd jobs and chores. Number three, Grandstand, a deal site that rewards you for the amount of people you include in your deal. And number four, Pixable, a photo organi organizer that sorts your photos from your social networks and organizes them into one feed. Pinterest made their debut last year and has seen outrageous success to date. Each of these startups demonstrate innovative and successful characteristics that are sure to take the internet and mobile industries by storm.